We all know that, once upon a time, men roamed the moon for a short period of time. But did you know, there is one who stayed there, and never came back? Yes, it is not an imagination, it is the reality. In today's era, walking on the moon is almost like, visiting the Empire State Building. But, for as many people who have taken a walk on that, far away from the rock, there is only one dead who's ever been put to rest there. Today, we are going to show you, a story behind the only man, who holds a permanent residency on our moon. So, don't skip the video, and please hit the subscribe button, to stay tuned with our channel. Let's get started. NASA planetary scientist, late Eugene Shoemaker, is currently the only person to have been buried on the moon. He was a geologist, a founder of modern planetary science, and also known for discovering comet Shoemaker-Levy 9, along with his wife Carolyn Shoemaker and David Levy. Because of his comet Shoemaker, it marked the first time, where humans were able to witness a first-hand planetary collision. Not only this, he is also the founder of the astrology research program within the United States Geological Survey. Besides, Shoemaker used his knowledge to train a number of Apollo mission astronauts about what they could expect to find on the surface of the moon, in terms of terrain. Shoemaker had always dreamed of climbing into a spacesuit and walking on the surface. Sadly, he never got the chance, Addison's disease crushed his hopes of becoming an astronaut. Even his fascinating life came to an abrupt end on July 18, 1997, when he died in a car crash while exploring a meteor crater in Australia. But, even in death, as it turned out, his journey was far from ever. A close colleague of Shoemaker, Carolyn Porcho, had decided to try to finally get the deceased scientist, who had wanted to be an astronaut in life but was disqualified for medical reasons, to the moon. Luckily, NASA also liked the idea of honoring Shoemaker, by getting his ashes all the way to the lunar surface. That's why they called Celestes, for working with them to find a way, to get some of Shoemaker's remain to the moon's surface, because NASA wasn't really in the business of burying people. Celestes was interested but, they wanted to make sure, that this groundbreaking burial would set a precedent for future off-world memorials. On January 6, 1998, NASA's lunar prospector blasted off for the south pole of the moon, looking for ice, and carrying an ounce of Shoemaker's ashes. Finally, the ashes were carried in a polycarbonate capsule provided by Celestes. It had been wrapped in a piece of brass foil, laser etched with his name and life dates over an image of the Hale-Bopp comet, an image of Arizona's meteor crater, where he had trained the Apollo astronauts, and a quote from Romeo and Juliet. On July 31, 1999, the mission ended when NASA deliberately crashed the craft on the surface of the moon, taking Shoemaker with it, and making him the first and only person to be buried off-world. So viewers, we hope you enjoyed today's video on, how the only man of the world was buried on the moon. Please subscribe, like, share and be always with us for the next video.